Hey gamers, how are you today? So here we are for another unboxing video. Today we are gonna unbox the Razorback for the Space Marines. And um, yeah, that's the box. Uh, the front part of the box. Let's see the back side. There we have. Um, you can see the different choice of weapon you can put on the Razorback and the different painting scheme give you any ideas um, or how to paint it mm? the the colors suggested for from Citadel are the Ultramarine Blue, the Chaos Black, Bolt Gun Metal, uh, Scorched Brown, Space Wolf Grey and Skull White but you can, as usual, uh, use your imagination or whatever color you want. Uh, in my case, it will be like the picture shows uh, an ultramarine because you all know that I'm doing an ultramarine army. And um, yeah, anyway, let's see what's inside of the box of the Razor Back. So, as usual, we have the instru instruction guide how to assemble it. It's the same for the Razorback and for the Rhino because it's the same model. It's just that the Razorback have the um, the weapon on 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 it. And actually, that's a useful tip. In my case, for example, the price for the Rhino kit and for the Razorback was exactly the same. So it's always better to buy the Razorback because uh, it's exactly exactly the same. Sp sprues you just have um, a sprue with the, the weapon an extra sprue so yeah it's always better to, to buy the the Razorback kit not the Rhino because you get both of it you just have to magnetize the stuff and and you and you're good to go so yeah that's the that's the guide to help you on how to assemble the this transport vehicle there you go and let's see the sprues I'm gonna take them all out so that we can see better so yeah I'm gonna show you first then the decals you have uh, two decals one are the um, Space Wolf decals this one you have all the icons for the Space Wolf and the other one is the normal space marine vehicle transfer sheet with the decals for many different chapters for your vehicles yeah so good thing that, that you also have uh, a space wolf uh, decals uh, if you want to make it a space wolf so let's see the sprues okay the first one are for the Razorback weapons you have the two different weapons here Actually, gonna take this out of the background so you can see better. I think. Yep. So, can show you that like this so you can see it better. You probably all know the name of this weapon. I don't, to be honest, because as you know, I'm more of a hobbyist than a player. So, yeah. There you have, this is the weapon. This is actually the extra sprue you, you get with the Razorback. The other one are the one you get with the, um, with the, with the Rhino. So, yeah, it's better to buy the, ra the, the Razorback because you can build a Rhino with, the, with it anyway. So, no point in buying one if the price is the same. And it's, it's usually the same, at least where I buy my stuff. So yeah, then you have uh, this sprue with the, um, it's the extra, um, let's see, weapons, you know, for the Rhino or the Razorback. You have um, uh, also the hatches for um, the top hatches with the, the door. This is the lower part for the, sorry, I'm out of, uh, yeah, the lower part for the, um, the Space Marine that you can put if you want him to stand outside of the vehicle on top of it I mean 
they are most of. This is also a, a weapon. If and you have the smoke launchers over here. And the, the, this is the ends of, of the Space Marine. And this is the heads. You can put two of, of them. One without an helmet, this one. This one. And the other one with the helmet upside down. There. Yeah. Then you have this sprue. Don't need the magnifier for this. With the um, the the side part. It's actually one side. This is the top hatch for the um, turrel for the Razorback. This is the back door. This is the front part and the side doors over here. Oops, here. Front door. It's not the door. It's the front part. The back door here and the turret. I mean the the top edge for the turret here. Back door. And I always wonder this thing: if you buy the Razorback, can you assemble it as a Rhino? And you can because if you don't put this this um, top edge for the turret, the t sorry, the turret. Um, you know the top uh, weapon. If you don't put this one, you can put these two parts that go together like this, and that's the top hatch for the Razorback. Uh, sorry, for the Rhino. And I always uh, wondering that when I saw other videos of this uh, unboxing of the, the of the Razorback, uh, how do you make the make the the Rhino from it? Because I never saw the that these two parts actually glue together or you can put them open <coughs> and that makes the top edge for the Rhino so yeah anyway this is the the low parts the bottom part and this is uh, another side the lights over here a bit of magnifier yeah and this part this is the inside part of the um, the Razorback or the Rhino and it's actually well detailed you can see a bolt gun over here with a computer a console with screens and buttons and the door for the pilots or you know drivers and uh, yeah that's basically what you get yeah some you have here some icons and um, so yeah that's what you get with the with the Razorback kit and remember it's the same thing it's the same thing you get with the um, the Rhino without the weapon sprue so get yourself a Razorback instead of a Rhino even if you want a, a Rhino because uh, it's it's better of course uh, I don't know why they, they did that but that's an, another mystery from games workshops so that's my advice for you get a Razorback if you want uh, a Razorback and get a Razorback if you want a Rhino because you can build both of them and um, that's it for this video um, you can expect to see that painted soon because I'm really excite excited to have this and um, that's it for me Thanks again for watching, don't forget to check out my website for more pictures and stuff, and uh, that's it, see you on my next video, and thank you again.